Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with another episode of Orioles Franchise. And last episode, if you guys didn't watch, I would totally go recommend watching. But we dominated the Yankees. It wasn't close. It wasn't close since inning one. We played against Garrett Cole and he did not have a good game. Also, as you guys can tell, there's a light. Natural light. I'm recording earlier. It's crazy. Um, we're just going to advance the day. We're going to hop right into it. What's this? Adam Hall. Ooh, I actually know him. Um, he'll be out for one to two months. We'll just put him on the 60-day injured list. Um... Now, I do want to check on my, um, okay, I don't really care about that. I don't really care about this. I just want to see how my AA team is doing, because if they're, like, if someone's, like, doing good, Maybe they get called up. Who knows? But. It's not looking like it. I mean, this guy's not looking bad, but. Hold on, I gotta restart. Okay. He's not bad. Haven't played. Not bad. Is this my... Was I looking at my double-A team? Oh my god, this might be... Yep. Sure is my double-A team. I wanted to look at my triple-A team. I was like, those overalls are awfully low for a, for a triple-A team. Now let's look at the line. <laughs> um, this guy looks like he's going to be really good. He's not doing horrible. Maybe you want to see like a little more from him. Um, 0.25 is meh. 0.192. Um, triple A. Oh my god, you are not doing good. My team cannot hit. Two six one. Like my third baseman might be my best hitter. <laughs> wow. That's a yikes. How about okay, you're not doing bad so far in minimal appearances. Same thing with you. Actually, this guy's actually doing pretty good, but. And this guy is two for four. Okay. Okay. But, back to that. We are going to go up against the Yankees again. I don't care about the double A. I'll go fix lineups. We got hurt. I don't know who that is for a few days. We'll keep him active. Cool. And we are going against Louis Severino. Let's play the full game. Um, we'll, we'll rock the orange. I th 
think Kyle Gibson will be our starter today. Just makes sense. And yeah, I still, I still kind of like Gunnar Henderson being number two. And then maybe Adley at three. Only because I can't really seem to hit with Mountcastle very well. Ah, I just lost all my progress. Let's go. I didn't really do much. But yeah. It's going to be a great game. I'm not excited. Even though we smoked them last time, um, Ready to go. Kiner up to the plate. I don't see that game happening again against the Yankees, that is in for a strike. if I'm being underway. honest. The next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. Throw slider out. Cutter up and out, maybe. Catch him swinging. Oh come on! That's a generous call. I mean, that looked like he swung for the most part. And Arias should make the play. He does, barely, but he does. As they go to hitter number two, DJ Lemayhu. As he will hold. Do a fastball up and in. Swing and a miss. Chris DJ Catch him swinging. David John the cutter low and out. Call him by the nickname, the big What's the big fundy, partner? Well, it's short, Again? Wow. He's so good These umps really the want the Yankees to win. I say that, that but we're in only in inning one. And nothing really happened. And the big man, Aaron Judge, is up to bat. Good slider. Keep it in the zone. A little scary. But you just got to be careful. Because Aaron Judge will take complete advantage if you throw a bad pitch. Well, my goal is to not throw circle changes, because I can't throw circle changes for the life of me. As you guys have found out. And we caught him swinging. Whew! Totally got away with that one. That was not a good swing. And Cedric Mullins is up. He had a crazy game last game. See if he can keep it going. As they start off with a circle change, and Cedric Mullins does not make contact. And he makes contact there, but it's not good. Goes right to the second baseman, and that's a quick out. We just need to uh, take some pitches. Don't need to force any swings. Don't need to force any hits. It is. I say that, and then we swing on the second pitch. And Lee Rushman up. That's a point three eight one on base percentage. Not bad. Not bad for the kid. As he gets a perfect, perfect liner to center field, and he's going to be able to go two. You might be able to go three after that. No. Not gonna try. 53 speed ain't worth it. But that was a gorgeous hit by Adley. And Anthony Santander. See what he can do. I just was not expecting a fastball there, if I'm being honest. Severino. 
good circle change. It's on 89 miles per hour on the circle change. It's actually pretty good. Low and out. Makes it a 1-2 count. Makes it a 2-2 two -two count. Uh, of essentially the same pitch. Santander up the middle should be a run home. And you'll love to see that. He kind of just threw one right down the middle for us, and we were just able to take that. Ryan Mountcastle up to bat. See what he can do. Whew! He got some good whip on that one. As I am getting a phone call. Hold on. That's awkward. Um, not gonna lie, I took a break in the first inning. Um, I got a call to go play some street hockey. And so I did. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Um, and I was gonna record after that, as Anthony Rizzo is up to bat. I was gonna record after that, not thinking that I was gonna be out super long. And then I ended up going to another friend's house and watching the UFC fights. So that's where I'm at. Um, I didn't get home until about 1.30 in the morning, and I got home, I crawled into bed, and I slept. Um, I don't know if you guys did see that fight, the main card, but... Boy, was it good. As we are pitching some really good pitches right now. Um, maybe not this one. That one almost finds his own, but. But yeah, no, it was a very, very good fight. But I do apologize that this will come out a day late, and that I'm playing it a day late, not living up to my word. But we're going to throw a cutter up and out, and it does not even come close to the zone as Glaber Torres. We'll get a free walk. And we get out of that inning. No runs. We did allow a walk, which is unfortunate. But not the worst thing in the world is Arias hits one, does not get through. That's been the issue this game, where we're just not getting hits to go through. Like, we're getting decent contact, but we're just not getting the hits to go through. So, gonna need to... Do a little bit better on that. As that's a good hit by Frazier, does not get down, and that is two outs already. 
and Severino is looking pretty good. Only 18 pitches, make it 19 in the bottom of the second. He might be able to play a very, very good chunk of this game. And he throws some heat. Not the fastest by any means, but he does throw it very well. As that one finds the zone, I did not expect that one to find the zone. And we will strike out there. Start off with a slider from Kyle Gibson. Not at all where I wanted it, but we kind of got lucky that they didn't swing. And that will be a 0-2 count. We will throw a cutter up and in. Maybe catch him swinging. Maybe jam him. But he does take it. Throw a fastball low and in. As that one had some heat coming off the bat. Only 87. It felt a little faster, but... We'll take it. As he swung very early for that one. Thought that that ball was going to be probably like a fastball or a cutter. More than likely a cutter, because we do have a tendency to throw cutters, but... As we will throw a cutter here and maybe get strike three yes we will jose trevino will fall to kyle gibson circle change does not get to mateo which is very unfortunate And I just looked at my phone, and a Rocket League player is now retiring. Torment. If anyone is into Rocket League, he is retiring after being released from version 1, being replaced by Daniel. Don't blame him. Take the short route? Should not have taken the short route. And now Aaron Judge has a chance to get a three-run homer. That, ooh, that looked like it stayed in. Throw a cutter, and <laughs> we get out of the inning. A little scary, a little scary. I thought maybe taking the short route was probably better, but. I guess 74 speed was fast enough to get there, as we could not find the best of contact there with um, Jorge Mateo. But maybe we find contact there? No, we do not. I was hoping it would just get by him, but it doesn't. And now Cedric Mullins is up for the second time this game. Ooh. That looked like it was going to be so good, but it dipped at the very end. Very good circle change from Luis Severino, but Cedric Mullins hits one deep right, but not deep enough. Aaron Judge will make that play. And Gunnar Henderson in the number two spot. See what he can do. Takes that first pitch. Very good circle change again from Severino. He has a very good circle change. As we got way too far underneath that ball and I had a voice crack. Ooh, Stanton. 
feel like we got away with that one. Throw cutter loan out. Maybe catch him swinging. We don't. Totally fine. We'll throw cutter up and out. See what type of movement we get here. Huh? They did not count that as a swing. That looked like for sure he swung, but he does get caught looking there. And a slider to end the at, at bat, and it does. Giancarlo Stanton will be struck out. And Anthony Rizzo is up to bat. He is 0 for 1 so far. Pretty sure it's a strikeout, if I remember correctly. Sure is. One one count. Throw circle change. Pretty good accuracy, honestly. Just a little early on the pitch. One two count and Rizzo will keep fighting as we will throw a sinker. Maybe get Rizzo swinging here. The sinker hung. I wanted it out of the zone and it stayed well in the zone. It actually stayed like straight down the middle. I couldn't tell you why. I feel like most of that pitch was very good. But what a rip from Anthony Rizzo. As this should be out. Santander makes the play. And hopefully we can get Oswaldo Cabrera out. Or Cabrera. My apologies. He called that a ball? Oof. Oh, way too slow. That one found it. Found the spot that I was looking for. And that's a great way to paint the corner. Throw cutter up and in. Just gonna have to get a fastball in there. Surprise! That wasn't a ball. Blue slider, low and in. It hung. A lot of these pitches are hanging. Um, probably go to the bullpen here. Um, I think we're in the top of the fourth. So next time, we're up. We're probably going to have to look at Kyle Bradish here. We'll warm him up. And then we'll also look, uh, warm up. Senal Perez. I don't know if I said that right at all. Full count here. Throw slider. As that one also hung. But Arias will make the play. We will get out of the fourth inning. Anthony Rizzo did a laser a home run. And it is a tied ball game. One to one. With Adley Rutschman at bat. We'll take the first pitch. Fouls, the second one. Gets a ball on the third, makes it a 2-1 count. And Adley Rutschman will go foul. He did 
hit that ball very well though. Two two count. Three two count. Got a full count here. Let's see what Adley can do. Good circle change from Severino. Did not have to swing there. It was definitely out of the zone. Could have been an easy walk. That one was a very hittable ball. I dropped my PCI. And that will be a ground out to first. Almost an error from the first baseman. I think that's... Is that Anthony Rizzo playing first base? Yeah, it is. Almost an error from him. But Anthony Santander, he is one for one. I'm pretty sure that's a homer, considering... He, uh, we have one on the board as a good circle change comes in from Severino. Just trying to get him to throw some more pitches as that should have been nuked. I just swung a little too late as that one goes straight to the dirt. 2-2 two -two count. And that will be a strikeout for Severino. Santander could not make contact. Swung a little late. More than a little, but. And Mount Castle is up. And another beautiful circle change. He has a really, really good circle change. I did not mean to swing. I pressed it so late. Because, like, I knew I wasn't going to swing, but I did. As Mountcastle will get on base, he finds the gap into center field, and he will hit a single. 89 off the bat, and Arias is up at the plate now. See what he can do. And that's going to be a pop fly. Love it. Start off with a slider, as that one does not get through. I thought that one was getting through. With any more velocity, Aaron Hicks gets a single. Fortunately for us, that will be stopped. As a sinker goes low, Jose Trevino watches it. Another slider, Let's see what happens. Will be foul. He's really hanging his sliders. Like, they're not placed accurately at all. I don't know how you don't call that a swing. Three-one count. Go to a cutter here. As that one barely finds the zone. And we will go to a full count slider pitch. Maybe get him swinging. Perfect. Perfect pitch. Ground to third and right to Mount Castle at first. With a fastball intimate. Intimate. In, in I, I don't know. You guys know what I meant. I'm not an English major. Adam Frazier. He's up to bat. As that one. Very close to the zone. I really did want to swing there. Two account. We are starting to get Severino to pitch a little bit more, as that one will find the center field gap. Very, 
much like uh, Mount Castles. Hit. But Frazier will line it. And Austin Hayes is up to bat. Oof, that slider. I thought for sure that was high. Expecting this one to be out of the zone. Very, very fortunate. That is not a ball I should be taking there. Very fortunate that that was not a strike. As we go to a full count, it was 0-2, and now it's 3-2. Haven't really had to do much. Don't have to swing on this, unless if it's legitimately in the zone. As it was, does that ball get down? Does it go foul? Aaron Judge almost made a huge play on that. Looks like Superman out there going for that. But really good contact from Austin Hayes. As they will call that a strike. I don't know if I like that. Did he really get... I guess he did. I guess he did go that far. As that will be ball one. And ball two. We're not really having to work. Severino's kind of digging himself a hole. He was having a very good game. He was really... Like, looking really good in the pitching department, but unfortunately we get too high on the PCI, and we line drive it for a double play. Too high on the DPC, on the PCI. Oh. Make my mama cry. We gonna light up the sky. All these homers. Making fireworks. Okay, I'm done. I'm not a rapper. Slider. For the strikeout. Yes. Mayhew. Is out. And the monster himself. Aaron Judge does not swing. I want him to swing at a bad pitch. That is my goal. Not that pitch. Thank God he did not swing at that because that is asking for trouble. Mm. Whoa, whoa, why would Mountcastle not go for that? I feel like he could have easily just... I feel like he could have easily just ran to first. He didn't have to throw it to Gibson. And Aaron Judge gets a free double out of it. I know it's technically like a ground rule double, but... But the fact that he was able to get to second base on a play that he should have been out is beyond me. As Kyle Gibson was really, or Stanton was really looking for something like 120 miles an hour there. Kyle Gibson doesn't throw that. We don't have a pitcher that even throws 100. As Mountcastle could not make that play. 
we will throw it home. Santander, does he make the play? No, he does not. As Anthony Rizzo is having himself a game. Santander almost had it. But Judge being like 6'8 was able to dive and just because he's that tall was able to outstretch <laughs> Mountcastle almost had it he was close as we will catch him swinging there get out of the inning Anthony Rizzo is carrying the Yankees right now as it's a two to one ball game and we need Cedric Mullins to do the same thing for us as that is a very hittable ball Circle change goes way out of the zone. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Another circle change out of the zone. He's going back to that circle change. And I'm pretty sure that was yet another circle change that I fell for. I fell for a lot of circle changes this game. And indeed, it was a circle change. Gunnar Henderson up to bat. As I was expecting a circle change. And I was expecting that to drop. See what Adley can do. As I got too far underneath it. Honestly, that's a very hittable ball. That's honestly a home run ball right there for Adley. Same thing there. That should be almost a home run ball if I have better PCI movement. And that will go foul. He's really just trying to get us out now. He's not even like trying to pitch it out of the zone and make us like look dumb. That one was horrible. Like, the past couple pitches have just been like so far out of the zone where it's like we haven't had to do anything and that was actually pretty scary for the Yankees and Anthony Rizzo I didn't know if he was making that play it almost looked like he was missing but good play from Rizzo and I think this is where we're going to make a substitution, or not a substitution, but a bullpen. We'll put in Kyle Bradish. As we will start off with a curve. That's not a swing. Next offering is fouled back. You ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I haven't been in many games as a fan. Makes it a 2 2 count. Go for a slider. As he dismantles that ball. You gonna throw the ball, Austin? There you go, kid. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so Oh, we moved up in uh difficulty. As this should be a play made by Santander. Santander gets it back in quickly. Rudder stops at second, and the first two reads only holds him to a single. They didn't get any extra bases after that. Not the best slider. 
throw a two seam, low and in. Get there, D don't jog, dude. Oh. Arias, I need you to not jog. As that will be strike one. We got to contain this inning. We have no outs here. We have zero leverage. We just got to hope that it stays in the infield. So that way we can get the guy out at home. And we will not be able to do that. They have someone going home. And they get two. And Kyle Bradish is not looking good. This might be it for him, depending how this one goes. As a 1-2 count comes in, I'll look for a 2-seamer. Does not come close. We'll look for it again. Throw slider way out. Does not find the zone. Just go for the double play here. <sighs> gotta keep it contained. Aaron Judge is up. Just gotta be a little weary of this. Especially now that we have been improved in our pitching. That means they're gonna be hitting much better. Any bad pitch, <laughs> that should be strike three, and we should be out of this inning. Unfortunately, we are not, but that is, that was not a good inning at all. And I don't think we're going to be seeing Kyle Bradish again. As Santander will pop fly that one. Severino might play this entire game. They might not pull anyone. Or pull him. He's played a pretty good game. As I was way out in front of that one. As Mountcastle will pop fly that one. It's not looking pretty for us. We had a 12-2 victory last game. In... This game, it's can't even get on base. As I got caught looking there, very bad swing for me. As Kyle Bradish will be pulled, and we will be turning to Perez. As a slider comes in, and it will be ball two. There's the strike. Good fastball there. That one misses. Three and one. Don't necessarily like that. As that will be a full count pitch now. Slider. As we will make that play. And the nine speed. Giancarlo Stanton will be out at first. Anthony Rizzo, the hero for the Yankees this game, is up to bat. And we will find that zone beautifully. And another beautiful pitch from Perez. Gonna throw a fastball up and in. See if we can get him, and we do. Rizzo. We'll strike out at the plate. Here's Torres. Sinker way out of the zone. Glaber Torres is not fooled by it one bit. And another pitch very similar. We're going to go back to a sinker. Make him swing. And that will be out number three pending Mateo. And he will make the play. 
and they will swap out Severino. And we are at the worst possible part of our lineup. Unfortunately, seven, eight, nine. But Adam Frazier has hit a very good ball as that circle change will go way low and we will swing at it. I, once again, way over my head. I don't know why I'm swinging at that. Just like a reactionary press A thing because I just want to dismantle a ball. And Severino, nope, not Severino, that's Frazier. Don't know why I said Severino. Does get in the gap. So, yet another good hit from Frazier, you know, not really asking much from him, but that will find the zone 0 1 count for Austin Hayes. See what he can do now. As that slider is very slow, 81 miles an hour. Not really expecting that slow of a pitch. As that is called a strike, and that is out of the zone. Yankees are paying blue off. Not even in the zone, not even touching the box. Is that will be called a strike, and now they have a double play opportunity to get out of the eighth. And Mateo will find the gap more than likely. No, it will not. <laughs> Just unfortunately couldn't get down. I bet you it was slightly to the right. Ah, I'm a betting man. As Cedric Mullins is up. As that is a ball. Starting with a 1-0 count for Cedric. And he will laser that one, but it will be a flyout. Aaron Judge all over it. And we unfortunately just let this game get beyond us. As we will have the bottom of the ninth to bounce back, but with the best part of our lineup. But with the way we've been hitting today, I don't know how much it's going to really play a factor for us. As that should be an out for Santander. It is. I always get worried when they just don't move initially. As a slider, Cedric will make the play. Thank God he is fast. Anyone else in center field, I don't know if he makes that play. As the sinker goes out to the left. And that one will find the zone. And go back to the sinker. Three sinkers in a row. Bet you they weren't expecting that. One, two count. And throw a slider in. Oof, way too far in. Go back to the sinker. And my pitcher just didn't even bother making a play. He got megged. Soccer terms. And go to a slider here. That ball could have been destroyed. As that one should be foul, it is. We caught a break there. We are going to go to a fastball low, very low, and not even close to where it was supposed to be. But we got we got lucky there, and. Clay Holmes will be their closing pitcher to try and get them out of the game. 4-1 count, or 4-1 ball game, Gunnar Henderson. We are at the best part of our lineup, and Gunnar Henderson will get through. We needed that. 
We needed that so badly. Now we need Adley to do the same exact thing. See what Adley can do. That will go for ball one. Foul ball. Another foul ball. He is throwing some heat. I can see why he is a closer. My lord. Throws 100. As that will make it through. Gunnar Henderson will be able to go to third. Why? No, 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 no. I messed this inning up so bad. He just faked through it. We lost. <laughs> you can't make it up. That was such a good play. Good hit from Adley, and we just messed it completely up. That was our chance. That was our chance. Very unfortunate that it ended like that because Santander is up and he has the chance to homer and if he homers with two on base, <laughs> that's a tie game. 3-1 count. And this is to put the game away. Clay Holmes. What pitch does he bring out? I would assume a fastball. Sinker. I only assume fastball because he throws that 100, but his sinker is also 100, so. As that will be ball four. Come on, Mount Castle. We need you here, man. After our big mess up. We'll take the ball. We could have bases loaded right about now. And Mountcastle could have a walk-off. Grand slam. But no. As Mountcastle lasers one, but it does not stay in. And it's a 1-2 count. That would have been so big for us. That one will be way out of the zone. Santander goes two. We caught a break there. Wild pitch. We'll take it though. Two-two count. Come on, Mount Castle. Man. That's a very unfortunate way for the game to end. Look at the box score. I mean, they really didn't have... They only had seven total hits. And we had seven total hits. They just had better hits. That's what it came down to. So... Anyways, guys, hope you guys, oh, sick, hope you guys enjoyed, um, I will be posting this one, and then I will make a separate video for this one, they will be, they will both be uploaded on Easter Sunday, so, but, very unfortunate way to go out. I feel like we actually had a really good chance to win that game. I feel like we should have won that game, honestly. Uh, but I messed up. I need to stop using my left bumper to send people. Start using the, the joystick. But 
hope you guys enjoyed. Tough loss, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.